Welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to explore how much does owning a boat really cost. We'll take a look at a couple of scenarios coming up. So I've developed this boat costing tool, which is available to you from my website at cruisingcalypso.com or if you put a, a request in the comments below, I will email it directly to you. And what it is is simply an Excel template with a couple of tabs that allows you to input several pieces of information about your potential purchase. So let's put some data in here. Let's put the length of the boat at 36. Let's put the beam in at 12. And how about we put the price in at $75,000. We will say that you are financing the boat, which is a drop down option. You have an option to put in your down payment. We'll put in 20%. And we'll say that you are gonna keep the boat on a dock. Okay, now this table to the right is the pretty much the engine that drives this. I built this on information that I've collected both on my own experiences and other experiences. You're free to change some of these assumptions which will change the calculations, including the rate loan on loan rate. And as you can see I have gas. I did this a year ago and I had gas at two fifty five. Wow, that was quite a difference. And let's just put it at three fifty, which I know is still low. But this allows you to make some changes. So now let's look at the results tab. Here you see the results of what the output of the template is. So looking at the top here, you can see that the boat loan principal and interest is $2,600 a year. Dock mooring is $7,700. Winter storage, your haul and launch costs, commissioning, insurance, which I think is low. I might have to increase that a little bit. Towing, which what I mean here is sea tow or boat US for a membership there. Your state and local tax on the purchase, fuel cost, maintenance cost, and then miscellaneous upgrades. So all in, in this example, you're looking at about an annual cost of $16,000. And you can see with the pie chart how it breaks out. Now what we have here is shows how we spread the cost over the year. And you can see it's not completely consistent every month. Typically, your high months are going to be April and October when the winter bill is due in April and then the bill coming up for summer is in October. The rest of it spreads out relatively similar. So let's go back and do another example and see how this breaks down for a smaller boat. Let's do a 28 foot boat with an eight and a half foot beam. And let's put the cost in at 50,000. And let's keep all the other assumptions the same. And let's say, let's put this boat on a mooring instead of a dock, which is going to be a little bit less expensive. Let's see how that comes out. Ooh, wait a minute, something happened. I don't think it's $17,000 a year in your loan. Let's go back and take a look. Oh, yes, it's not 500000 we're making the price 50000 my bad. All right, so let's take a look and see what that does. So now you can see with this scenario, the price is about half for a smaller boat, on a mooring, lower, you know, lower loan costs, everything else goes down, everything else is proportional, because in, for boating, most costs are on a foot per foot basis. Not everything, but so you can see dramatic difference down to about $8,700 a year. Again, the distribution in the pie chart is very similar as to what is the biggest piece of your cost. Now with a 28 footer, you potentially, if you have a big enough vehicle, could store the boat off prem and not put it at a boat yard. It would take a good sized truck to tow that, um, but it is potentially possible um, to store that. Again, looking at the spread through the course of the year, you have they have those same high months in the spring and the fall, and then the rest of the dollars are distributed throughout. So as you can see, this tool does give you a rough idea. 
It's not exact, it's based on my own experience, and as I say, you can change your assumptions, but it is useful to give you a sense of what you might spend for a boat that you're thinking about purchasing. So we can change it in some other, other templates. Let's say we make that you're gonna pay cash for the boat. All right, so now that eliminates the loan situation, we'll keep everything else the same. And now we're down to 7,000 because we because you can see the top line is zeroed out because there's no cost. So, you know, for if you can do 50,000 pay cash or you sell something else, now you're down to $7,000 a year, which is, you know, for most people who are considering boating, which let's be clear is not inexpensive, that's less than $1,000 a month. So that's doable in a 28 foot boat, you can actually cruise with a couple and maybe some, you know, a few two small children. It's tight, but you can do it. Um, but it's a great way to get started. This just gets you an idea of what you're looking at for cost. So I hope you like it. Stay tuned for more.